Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 3, Video 1 on Working with Loads. Let's start out by looking at the topics we're going to cover in this Webinar 3 video series. First we're going to look at joint loads, uh, then we're going to look at loads applied to members, whether they be distributed point loads or thermal loads. Then we're going to move on to pressure and area loads applied to load panels. Uh, a similar vein, we're going to look at pressure and area loads applied to plate fields and uh, patches. And then we'll look at how we can manage our load cases. And finally, we'll look at some special types of load cases. So basic ones like self-weight and combined load cases, but also some newer custom load cases that will automatically generate the loads associated with wind loading, current loading, hydrostatic loading, and acceleration-induced loading or C-motion loading for structures on the deck of a vessel. Start out with our joint loads. Joint loads are pretty straightforward. We usually apply them in the global coordinate system, but we can use the joint orientation command to create a local coordinate system and then apply joint loads in that local coordinate system. One thing that's not so obvious is that any time we enter the magnitude of a joint load, as well as typing in a magnitude, we can actually type in a formula. So we can use that for a quick on the fly calculation of magnitude, or we can have a formula that's dependent on the location of the node. And that syntax for those formulas follows the same syntax as Excel formulas. So let's go over to multiframe and uh, take a look at how we can use some of those commands. So I'm going to start out by selecting a node and then choosing the joint orientation command and I'll rotate that around a little bit and you'll notice that the joint orientation icon is only shown if the orientation is non-zero. So now if I move over to the load window and I select that joint then in the load menu you can see that we have an option of a global uh, joint load or moment or a local joint load or moment. So if I choose a local joint load then you can see that the icons orientate themselves to be aligned with the coordinate system that's shown in the background and so we can choose the direction and the magnitude of that load like so. If I select uh, a number of different joints and let's say I want to apply a global load to those joints then when I type in my magnitude I can actually use a formula there. So if I wanted the magnitude of the load to be dependent on the, uh, the height of the uh, joint above the origin for example, then I could put in a formula for that. So I could put in say 10 times the uh, y coordinate of the node and I'll add another 5 to it just to give you an idea. And so you can see how we can have load values that are based on a formula. We'll see in other places in multiframe uh, how we can use formulas when we're applying load. So that's our brief introduction to joint loads. Thank you for watching.